Hi guys, now we have completed some 280. Let's go inside and see what are the other MCQs that we have. We are doing it by way of fill in the blanks. The reason you would know, instead of seeing it through choices, when you see it through fill in, conceptually you will become better. So yes, now start. Under the Indian Contract Act 1872, what a third person can do? Though he is a beneficiary under the trust, under the contract can sue. You should understand one thing. We studied a concept called doctrine of privity of contract. What does that mean? A stranger to a contract cannot sue a party to contract. Now, there are exceptions to doctrine of privity of contract. There are certain situations where even a stranger to contract can sue a party of or party to contract. Now here in this trust, who is the beneficiary? Under the contract can sue, though he is a third person. So don't you think this is important? Yes. So what you will write when I mark this? You will say, this is an exception to doctrine of privity of contract. Are we clear? Yes. Next, in India, a person who is stranger to consideration can sue. Stranger to contract is different. Stranger to consideration is different. Stranger to contract also can sue. Stranger to consideration also can sue based on the contractual term. So that's the point you will have to remember. Yes, this is a normal point. So I'll mark this in yellow color. Next, the beneficiary of a trust or other interest in specific immobile property can enforce it even if he is not a party named in the trustee. That's what we say, stranger. Yes, possible. That's what they are saying. So the answer is what? True. Next. Competency to contract means what? If he is of sound mind, if he is of 18 years, more than 18 years, uh, automatically he can, he has a competency to contract. Which of the following is not competent to contract? Minor cannot. Unsound mind person cannot. Who is disqualified cannot. So this is a negative question. Yeah. So negative. So I'm marking it in red. Next, a minor's agreement can be ratified or attaining on attaining majority. It is on attaining majority. What does that mean? You cannot do. You will have to bring only a new agreement. You cannot try to ratify. Ratify means you can change. You cannot change. It is not possible. So false. Are we clear? What is the next one? Contracts under unilateral mistake. The moment when you see this point, you will say, ah, sir, unilateral mistake. Ah, it is only valid. Listen carefully. Contracts under unilateral mistake or dash if such mistake is caused by fraud or misrepresentation of the other party. Generally, what we will say, fraud, misrepresentation, generally we will say voidable. But here, though it is connecting through your unilateral mistake, you cannot enforce that in the court of law. I will make this green so that you don't get confused. Unique, unique question. If an agreement suffers from any uncertainty, it cannot be enforceable in the court of law. So directly yellow. All illegal agreements are void ab initio. That means what? Void right from the beginning. So that also is there. Next, a promise to give a money or money worth depending on any uncertain event is called wagering agreement. Lottery, we told. Uncertain event. So this is going to be there. So wagering agreement. Wagering agreement is void, as I've already told you. Speculative only is valid. Now, in the states of Gujarat and Maharashtra, collateral transaction to wagering agreement are illegal and void. So you will cover this. It is void. Contingent means what? It may or may not happen. Simple point. Which of these parties cannot demand performance? Generally, doctrine of privity of contract will say what? Stranger to a contract cannot perform anything. So that's the point. Next, damages awarded to compensate the injured party. Normal damages, whatever the actual amount of loss suffered, that becomes what? That becomes your normal damages. Are we clear? So that is going to be the point. Very simply, you can understand this. Next. A contract is a combination of two things. One is agreement, another is enforceability, which is an obligation. Simple point. Agreements which are not contracts, agreements for watching cinema at all, you don't have a contract at all. Correct? Agreement can be anything, but contract is 
agreement enforceable in the court of law or be clear which one is correct contract all contracts are agreements or all agreements are contracts or? all contracts are agreements so what i will add now but all agreements are not contracts are we clear yes which of the following is false an acceptance may be presumed from the silence of offering correct silence leads to acceptance depending on the facts and circumstance how you will offer by post may be accepted by post only that thing offer is made only when the letter reaches the offeree promise the other person who is going to accept so letter reaches the offeree consideration must result in benefit to both the party that's what we say something in return it should be from both the people now consideration may be illusionary may be inadequate yes that's very simple point which of the following is true can there be a stranger to consideration yes can there be a stranger to contract yes consideration means what something in return i already told you remember i will also write this for your better understanding quid pro quo quid pro quo means something in return a minus liability for necessity is only against the minus property i have already told about the minus estate you remember that is the point which of the following is not true about minus possession he can be admitted only to the benefits that's not right now anything for the estate he can be liable for anything for the benefit he can be liable for so we need to be careful when you study this question because there will be a slight word that is added before only to the benefits so we may not know how they are going to ask so we should be careful about it are we clear so I'll mark this in yellow also next which of the following statement is true any time when he is unsound he cannot enter into contract any time he is sound he can enter into contract yes when the consent of both the parties is given by mistake bilateral mistake is void void bilateral is void bilateral mistake see the point here with the contract is void on account of bilateral mistake correct but if there is mistake of only one party it becomes unilateral mistake what it is called valid do you remember this guys the moment when you say mistake what you should remember coercion undue influence fraud misrepresentation mistake you should remember that are we clear so we should be careful next mistake from foreign law is void indian law is valid we have already told this next mistake as to law not in force in india is called mistake of fact foreign mistake in case of innocent representation we already know it is voidable correct Pro coercion and influence fraud misrepresentation is voidable when it is fraud still it is going to be voidable but damages are payable for misrepresentation no damages see what i am underlining for fraud there will be damages willful representation willful that means intentional when it is intentional damages are there when it is unintentional you know innocent damages are not when it is fraud voidable we have already told when it is opposed to public policy that means when it is impossible supervening impossibility do you remember this word go back and check the previous videos i would have used a word called supervening impossibility chanceless so that is the point wagering means what betting i have already told you lottery restraint in marriage void agreement in restraint marriage is valid in case of who minor because there is no problem at all for him this point we should be careful see what is this i will mark this in green color if any party has received any benefit under the contract from the other party he may restore it or make compensation that word called restoration is called restitution so what's the keyword i'll underline Resti restitution restoring or making compensation contingent contract is valid there is no doubt at all yes when the when it can be discharged fulfillment of obligations what is that mean rights and obligations are completed which is not the mode of discharge court order is not injunction this has to be marked in green color the person finds certain goods belonging to some other person what he should do he should try his duty is to trace the real owner he cannot sell the goods are you clear 
if the owner is not found you cannot sell the goods but you can take compensation from him this is called finder of lost goods so i am marking it in green so what you will write here the finder of aka what is aka finder of otherwise known as see what i am writing finder of lost goods you should find the owner when the time lapses it becomes voidable why it is voidable because it depends on the party some party will say okay okay no issues i understand your situation some people will say no no we have told you time right time means it should be time so voidable depends on the party when you change the terms of contract changing is otherwise called what alteration in the both the cases generally devolution of joint rights and joint liabilities who will take care his legal representative will take care yes very simple if one person is there if he dies means then the legal representative will take care what is even it is impossibility of performance it is going to be void the person who are ent entitled to resign means cancel resigned the contract loses the remedy where he has ratified the contract third party has acquired right in good faith contract is not separable when you cannot separate a contract you will try to cancel when third party has acquired third party it has gone to some other person you will cancel when he has ratified the contract that means then it is made good day you cannot cancel when you will when you will cancel the contract when it is not good only so this has to be really strong but still not a important one so i am marking it in black color the special damages cannot be claimed as a matter of right you should only display and substantiate that only then it is possible which of the following statement is correct all the points are correct so i am marking it in green you can concentrate more ordinary damages are recoverable special damages are recoverable only if the parties know about them remote or indirect damages not recoverable all the three are correct are you clear with this 331 exemplary damages are not awarded in such case when when there is a breach breach means what you have not fulfilled your obligations i told you there are two types of breaches actual breach anticipatory breach next damages which the contracting parties fix at the time of contract in case of breach what damages liquidated damages please mark it very important whenever there is a breach exemplary damages will not be awarded liquidated damages will be awarded exemplary is what when you stop the marriage marriage related damages only is exemplary damages but when it is a breach you will only do liquidated damages please mark 31 331 and 332 very important court order is called what injunction i have already told this not a big deal to remember under the indian contract act the contract of indemnity is restricted indemnity means what protecting the other from the loss i will take you in one particular video what is the difference between indemnity guarantee all these uh, words that you try to use in special contracts of indian contract will be taken the loss caused by any events or accident which does not depend upon the contact of any person so it does not depend upon the person it depends upon the contract so what i will write here does not depend upon the threat to commit suicide is what coercion i have already told this committing or threatening to commit yes so offer or is means whom party making an offer so what i will mark here party making an offer cross offer means what termination of original offer offer can be revoked before its acceptance yes possible which which one is the mode of contract contract by post is allowed quid pro quo means what something in return no consideration no contract is that true yes we call it as what nudum factum consideration may move from promisee also promisor also can be moved promisee also can be moved so be very careful i will mark this in green color consideration means what pay something in return it can also start from promisor it can also start from promisee doctrine of privity of contract third party generally cannot sue so only we say stranger to contract cannot sue contract can be unilateral and bilateral voidable contracts to i 
two i two h we don't contract. Y double is two i two g is void. Menu card is an offer. No, it is what it is invitation to offer. Are we clear? You remember that I told you. Consideration may be in the form of written promise, forbearance. That means may or may not do or doing an activity. If there is no consideration, there will be no contract. Who are all unsound mind, lunatic, idiot, and drunkard? All the three people. Wrong statement is called misrepresentation. Here, what you should understand: intentional misrepresentation is called fraud. Unintentional misrepresentation is called mistake. You should remember that. Agreements where there is a monopoly or void is opposed to public policy. Normal brokerage agreement for marriage brokerage is not opposed to public policy. That only is opposed to public policy at all. So false. Finder of last goods, the next best owner is to the real amount. He can not sell, but he he will try to find out the true owner. Valid tender should definitely be with an uncondition. Tender should be for the whole obligation, not partially. Supervening impossibility is always void. Damages you also have compensatory damages. Mr. A offers to Mr. B to sell his car, and Mr. B agrees to buy it. This will not be considered as a fresh offer by B, and A is not bound. This is one agreement only, so there is no separate one. Which of the following statement is not correct? Acceptance can be conditional. No, it should be unconditional. Stranger to a contract cannot sue. Is called what? Privity of contract. So I'll mark this anyways in green color. Why? You should know the meaning. We have already told you a number of times. Now the next one. If A makes an offer to B on a particular day, then he can revoke depending upon the letter of acceptance. Not a big deal. We have already covered this. You know. If B accepts A's offer by posting a letter of acceptance, and afterwards B wants to revoke, means can they do? Yes, before the letter reaches, which is not a consideration, conditional consideration. There is no type. Which of the it is only past, present, and future. Illegal contract, not a consequence of illegal contract. It is voidable. What is the consequence? It is void. Now, when you substitute. By cancelling, then it becomes novation. How many types of breach are there? Two. What are they? Actual breach and anticipatory breach. Now, generally, it is by the court means unliquidated damages. When it is through breach means liquidated damages. Normal means ordinary damages. This and all we have already seen. What is the remaining one? The law provides for certain remedies in case of the right to sell the personal property is allowed. Not a big deal to remember. Right to decree. Establish the right to decree is your nominal damages. I'll mark this in green color, guys. I have already told you. Prepare a list on damages: ordinary, special, vindictive, nominal, exemplary. Please write to try to write this. Breach of promise of marriage. You already know it is going to be what? It is going to be exemplary. Saving the other from the loss is called what? Contract of. indemnity a general offer can be accepted only when the communication reaches when the offer is made to a particular person it can be accepted by him alone particular person so specific offer are you clear it is not for the public are we clear last acceptance must be given within the prescribed time if no prescribed time then reasonable time reasonable time means it depends on the facts and circumstances of the case are we clear what we have done till now beyond this they are not going to ask you anything under indian contract act we have made it really really thorough i hope you would have enjoyed the session we will go and see what is there in other other concepts relating to this thank you